have a computer lesson but don't have access to devices for your lesson? Want to teach your children about coding and the history of computing? Well, I'll be showing you a range of resources which touch on the history of computing and technology and also some activities for children to practice their coding skills at their desk without a device. Firstly, why not explore the history of computers and look at the different types of technology over the years using these matching cards. These cards explore the history of computers and advances in technology over the last 100 years. You'll find a range of definition cards exploring each decade in which children can read independently or in pairs. And you can even find picture cards. Simply cut out the pictures and definition cards, place them down and give them a shuffle. Encourage your children to turn them all over and match them together. This is a great way for children to see the progression of technology over the years. Once your pupils have finished exploring the history of computers using these cards, why not get your pupils' minds thinking and provide some open-ended questions, such as, can your children predict what technological advancements will come in 2030? You could also use this history of computers PowerPoint quiz to accompany this, to test your children's knowledge of what they have learnt or know. Simply read through the questions as a class and give your children time to discuss and come up with an answer using the multiple choices. Once the timer is up, select the correct or most popular answer from the multiple options on display. This is a great task to test your children's knowledge, but also to create a discussion surrounding the answers. Looking to develop your children's coding skills, in this resource, children are given a set of numbers that go into a computer and a set of numbers that come out. Children are challenged to work out what the algorithm is. For example, what rules have been applied to the input numbers to create the output numbers? This is great for children to use their logic, reasoning and trial and error skills about what mathematical skills have been applied. This task is a great early activity to expose children to computer science. Or even check out this Match the HTML activity, which challenges children to write their own HTML and explore the coding behind it, which is an excellent skill to learn as it opens doors for website creations. The resource begins with a handy brief introduction and summary to what a HTML is, along with tags to learn and what they mean. Children are then tasked to match the text to its HTML in which children can use the tags to help them, and then even challenges children to practice writing some HTMLs of their own. And if you're looking for more competing resources, take a browse on the Twinkle website to find even more fantastic resources to suit your teaching and learning. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.